Hello and welcome to day 16 of our Advent series at Crosspoint called Arrival. We're anticipating the birth of the Christ child, our Messiah. Today we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 20. I'll be reading uh, from the New Living Translation. We are going to talk about how to party like the shepherds. When the shepherds found out about the announcement of the Christ child, there was a big party. Let's read about that right now. That night, some shepherds were in the fields outside the village, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terribly frightened. But the angel reassured them, Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped snugly in strips of cloth. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to all whom God favors. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They ran to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in a manger. Then the shepherds told everyone what had happened, what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary quietly treasured these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their fields and flocks, glorifying and praising God for what the angels had told them, and because they had seen the child just as the angel had said. Are you prepared to experience Christmas this year? Can you imagine what God was trying to accomplish when he met with the shepherds through the angels? God chose the most lowly group of people at that time to get the word out, to share the news, to tell the story to everyone about the news of Jesus' birth. The shepherds got a firsthand look. They journeyed. They took in the smells of the animals. They heard the baby cry. They saw Mary holding her son, Jesus. Once they had this experience, they went and told everyone that they could about the fact that God had come to earth in the form of a child. You know, Christmas for us should be about more than just opening a bunch of presents. Once we've experienced Jesus in our life, we should celebrate the fact that God has come to earth, not just for the shepherds, but for everyone. Our celebration of joy shouldn't just be the end of the year when Christmas is over. It should carry on all year. How do you carry a party for a continuation? Sometimes you have to be creative. I have a friend who loves to play Christmas music all year long. She enjoys it so much, and that's how she keeps Christmas alive in her heart. I've got another friend who has a box at home, and about middle of the year, they'll open that box and they'll pull out items from Christmas just to remind them of the excitement and the anticipation that Jesus brings into our life. I'd like to encourage you today to gather with your family and talk about some ways that you can carry on the celebration of the Christ child beyond Christmas Day. I have Uh, the opportunity in my home to share the Christmas story with my family on Christmas, but we also celebrate Jesus on many other days throughout the year, and our job and desire is to carry on with Christ all year long. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, thank you today for the privilege that we have to celebrate the birth of your son, Jesus. Thank you for the obedience of the shepherds in the fields and the joy that they had when they got to tell the story about the birth of Christ. God, help us every day to take the opportunity to continue the celebration of your birth. Help us not to just celebrate it on Christmas Day, but help us to celebrate it and party every day of the year. We pray all this in your name. 
amen. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to you joining us tomorrow for Day 17.